three chambers of the eye, anterior chamber, posterior chamber, and vitreous chamber. Today, we are going to dive into a fascinating topic that is crucial for understanding the structure and function of the human eye. Let's explore the three chambers of the eye. What is the division of the eye? The human eyeball can be divided into two main segments. The anterior segment and the posterior segment. The anterior segment is the part of eye in front of the lens. This includes the cornea, iris, and aqueous humor. The posterior segment is the part of the eye behind the lens. It includes the vitreous humor, retina, and other posterior structures. The three chambers of the eye. The human eye has three main chambers. The anterior chamber, the posterior chamber, and the vitreous chamber. The anterior segment of the eye has both the anterior and posterior chambers. The posterior segment of the eye consists of only vitreous chamber. What is the location of chambers in the eye? These chambers are separated by the iris and lens. Anterior chamber is located between the cornea and the iris. Posterior chamber is situated between the iris and the lens. Vitreous chamber is the largest chamber and is located behind the lens and in front of the retina. The chambers in front of the lens, both anterior and posterior chambers, are filled with a clear watery fluid called aqueous humor. The space behind the lens, the vitreous chamber, contains a thick gel-like fluid called vitreous humor. Now we look at the details of these three chambers. Number 1. Anterior chamber of eye. The anterior chamber of the eye is a fluid-filled space situated at the front of the eye. It is located behind the cornea and in front of the iris. It contains aqueous humor, a clear watery fluid that is continuously produced by the ciliary body and drains from the eye through the trabecular meshwork and Schlem's canal. The aqueous humor within the anterior chamber helps to Maintain the shape of the eye, regulate intraocular pressure, and provide nutrients to the cornea and lens, which lack their own blood supply. The anterior chamber is vital for maintaining proper eye function and can be affected by conditions like glaucoma, where the outflow of aqueous humor is blocked, leading to increased intraocular pressure. Number 2. Posterior chamber of eye. The posterior chamber of the eye is a small space located behind the iris and in front of the lens. It is filled with aqueous humor, a watery fluid that helps to maintain the eye shape, provide nutrients to the lens and cornea, and help refract light. The posterior chamber plays a crucial role in focusing light onto the retina, thus contributing to the eye's ability to see. The lens is a normally clear structure located behind the iris in the posterior chamber. It focuses light on the retina, allowing for clear vision. The lens is suspended in place by the suspensory ligaments, also known as the ciliary zonule or the zonule of Zinn. These ligaments connect the lens to the ciliary body. The ciliary body, specifically the ciliary muscle within it, is responsible for changing the shape of the lens to accommodate for near and far vision. Number 3. Vitreous chamber of eye. The vitreous chamber is the largest space within the eye. It is located behind the lens and in front of the optic nerve. It is the part of the posterior segment of the eyeball. It's filled with vitreous humor, a transparent, jelly-like substance which is composed mostly of water, collagen, and hyaluronic acid. The vitreous humor is not replaced, so it remains in the eye throughout life. Functions of vitreous humor of vitreous chamber. The vitreous humor helps to hold the lens in place. It contributes to the eye's round shape, which is important for proper vision. It helps to keep the retina attached to the back wall of the eye. The vitreous humor refracts light, contributing to the eye's ability to focus. Is the vitreous humor formed only once in life? Yes, the vitreous humor is generally formed only once in life. So it remains in the eye throughout life. Formation. The vitreous humor is formed only during fetal development and fills the eye's posterior cavity. It is initially a gel-like substance that fills the eye's interior. Liquefaction. Around the ages of 9 or 10, the vitreous gel starts to liquefy. This means it starts to lose its gel-like consistency and becomes more liquid. 
and this process continues throughout life. No regeneration. The vitreous gel itself cannot regenerate, meaning once it's gone. It's not replaced. And that concludes our detailed journey through the three chambers of the eye. Thank you for your attention. And I hope this session has added a clear vision to your knowledge 